Hi, my name is Dr. John Duyard, and I want to talk to you today about some very interesting research regarding vitamin B12 and the size of your brain. In one study, 170 people between ages of 61 and 87 were measured for five years, and they measured their B12 levels, and they noticed that people with the highest B12 levels had the biggest brains, and people who have low but not deficient levels of B12 had brain's volumes that literally began to shrink. So your brain literally began to shrink. And people with the lowest B12 levels, the deficiency, they had the smallest sort of shrunken brains, which is sort of interesting. And they've definitely linked a low or less brain volume to cognitive and memory function. So we do want to have a bigger brain. Uh, a Swedish study was 370 people uh, around the age of 75 were measured for just low levels, not deficiency levels, but low levels of folic acid and B12. And they had two times the risk of mental and cognitive and memory function. So we have a pretty clear picture that vitamin B12, which is a very common deficiency, uh, has an impact on the size of the brain. Now the best news all day was when they gave these folks who had sort of shrunken brains, less brain volume, they gave them B12, their brains got big again, which is you know, really good news. So you can begin to start to uh, supplement yourself with vitamin B12 or eat more uh, B12 rich foods, which are meats, uh, which, and they're fermented foods, but they're um, oftentimes hard for us to digest. The reason why vitamin B12 is such a major deficiency is not because we don't have access to the B12. I mean, most B vitamin supplements have B12, but the problem is making use of it. Every other vitamin, B vitamin, is water soluble, super easy to digest. But vitamin B12 has a special way that it absorbs into the body. It, there's an there's a acid in your stomach called the intrinsic factor that's made in the stomach only when the digestive fire is really strong. And when that digestive fire isn't strong, that intrinsic factor isn't made. And that intrinsic factor's job is to hook onto B12, carry it all the way through your small intestine as it precurses many hormones and neurotransmitters, makes your mood stable, energy, vitality, uh, mental clarity, function, all that. That intrinsic factor, if it doesn't latch onto the B12 from your diet, then you're not going to deliver. You can eat as much red meat as you like, and it's not going to happen. So having a good, strong digestive fire is critical. Now, if you're a vegetarian, you just have to supplement with B12. There's really no really good way around that. Now, some studies have shown that people can actually make B12 in their intestinal tract when they have really great diversity of their microbes. That's what we used to have. And now, because of our antibacterial assault on every bug in our body, this is generally not happening for people anymore. So vegetarians who don't get the, the B12 in their diet, they really do need to supplement. And the best way to do that is with a, is with a sublingual form of B12. Remember the old days they would give you shots and people would get energy from those shots. And the reason was because it bypassed the low digestive acid. And as we get older, they always say to us, your digestion is gonna get weaker as you get older. I don't believe that for a second, but I, that it has to happen. But I do believe it does happen with age and with stress. There's no doubt about that. But I believe we can fight back. And we don't have to let that happen. And we can have really good digestive strength and, and therefore the intrinsic factor and therefore make use of our B12. However, it's very common that that doesn't happen. So it's important to have, have an understanding of your B12 levels, mostly because we don't want our brain to shrink. That's one thing for sure. And, uh, and the problem with B12, another problem is that to get an accurate measurement of your B12, you need a B12 test, a homocysteine test, and a methylmalonic acid test. That's like three tests that cost you like $500. Or you could take a sublingual B12, folic acid, and B6 supplement, which they, those three B vitamins love to be together. They're kind of synergistic. Put them under your tongue and suck on them. And that absorbs right into your bloodstream like the old-fashioned shot would do. And if you feel better in a month, then you know two things. You know, number one, yep, you were B12 deficient. And, and it was affecting your energy and probably the size of your brain. And number two, you gotta remember that that was happening because your digestive fire went south and you weren't producing the intrinsic factor from your stomach to be able to utilize the B12 and deliver the energy and the brain function that you like. 
So that means you've got to go to the digestive section of my website and you've got to learn how to reboot that digestion. That's, that's really important. We've got to always have our eye on that ball because that's the thing that will take us out. Is weak digestion causes weak detoxification. And in a, in a toxic world with refined foods, we need both of those to be as strong as they possibly can. So I hope this makes sense. I wrote a, a pretty comprehensive article studying the research about the B12 and the size of our brain that I think is very interesting. So please go there, check it out. Thanks for listening. I'm Dr. John Biard.